we did reach out to both sides yeah. um, and they offering them a chance to appear on the show. Um, Mermaids did not respond to the request. OGB Alliance said they won't comment at this time. But I know that you, you are your organisation, the Gay Men's Network, you are largely in agreement with the LGB Alliance, the Lesbian, Gay and Bisexual Alliance. Now, this is a body we've spoken to many times on the show. They were set up because they were concerned that many of the long-standing traditional, uh, for the last quite a few decades, gay rights groups like Stonewall were no longer representing the rights and the needs of gay, bisexual, and lesbian people, but they were so focused on trans people, and in doing so, were kind of trampling over gay rights. So, tell us what the what, why this case is being brought. Well, it, it, the case is a spectacularly spiteful one. We think it's being bought by one charity because they are saying, in effect, if you do not agree with us, if you don't believe little children have gender souls and they need surgical correction. Uh, or need to wear breast binders, which is something mermaids say that little girls with gender dysphoria should do. Um, they say you shouldn't have to, you shouldn't have a charity, and we're in the absurd position. They, right. They're basically saying the LGB Alliance is a is a is a hate group. They always do this yeah. rather than and is and is transphobic and therefore should not have charitable status under the Charity Commission rules. A any criticism of these groups is immediately met with the allegation you're transphobic, you're a hate group, you're this, that and the other. All the LGB Alliance are saying is that when Stonewall and Mermaid say preposterous things, like a lesbian can have a penis, they actually say that, Julia. Yeah. When they say things like that, surprise, surprise, if stalwart lesbians like Bev Jackson, and Kate Harris, who've been gay rights activists since the 70s, for goodness sake. Surprise, surprise. They say, we're not going along with that. And we think that that, frankly, is a bit mad. And, and part of this is, I, mean, I agree with you, I think it's a bit mad. I think most people do. Yeah. I, mean, I was very pleased you know, to actually get both Liz Truss and uh, Rishi Snack when they were running yeah. of the issue. When I see, you know, is a trans woman a woman? No. Very, very simple straight about. And it's really important to have that because actually it's been really difficult to be able to say those things without being accused of transphobia, taken off social media, off comp complaints, and like if you're a broadcaster. Whereas that is the view of the vast majority of people. But the key thing here in terms of gay people both gay men and gay women particularly with gay women this idea that that if you are if you are a lesbian if you are a woman who has who, whose sexual romantic preference is for another woman to refuse to date a trans woman i.e a biological man with biological male genitalia um, who says that they are a woman and a lesbian that you are yourselves transphobic. And we have seen there is pressure on gay dating sites and the like. Absolutely. That's it's really sinister. And a lot of lesbians have been talking about how this is basically wiping out the existence it, of being a lesbian. Well, you know, someone sp said on social media the other day, lesbians are an endangered species. Um, women, lesbians are getting chucked off um, dating apps, Julia, simply for saying, I'm a woman who wants to go out with a woman. Now, the last time I checked, <laughs> that was the definition of a lesbian. So people uh, on dating app, people like me who happen to be homosexuals mm. who have the temerity to say i am a homosexual mm. are being told well that's transphobic you yeah. can't i mean this is absurd isn't it well what have, what's Madden. emerged yesterday or, or, or the last couple of days um is we've, we've seen some of the allegations being made uh by the lgb alliance against tavistock clinic now we've had the cast review yeah. to this clinic this, i actually live very nearby i was very aware of what they were doing for a long time uh, and i've and always thought for, for a long time it's very very sinister um lots of children i mean really very young children being given um a, so-called you know sort of gender treatment but basically puberty blockers and drugs that have never been properly tested uh, experimental drugs exactly. which basically castrate children yep. uh, make them infertile uh, unable to ever uh, enjoy you know, any sexual gratification I mean decisions that are being made by children often without the parents consent and the cast review basically said there is something horribly bad going wrong and that clinic is going to be closed down in the spring because of the basic the political ideology ideology there well the, what emerged yesterday the case was that the LGB Alliance said, told the tribunal um, that um, that the greatest threat to young gay people was treatment with life-altering drugs and surgery because professionals convinced them they were true, arguing that actually they are, this clinic has been, in their words, transing the gay away. Absolutely. What do you say to that? This is institutional homophobia. This is gay conversion by gender. The majority of young people, young men and women, young boys and girls going to this clinic I've either got mental, other mental health issues, they've got learning difficulties, yeah. autism, um, but, but also two-thirds of them are, are gay. Well, exactly. And why are they at the clinic in the first place? They're there because evil organisations say if you play with the wrong 
toys if you're a butch yeah. girl a tomboy loads of people t- t- were tomboys. Well, my little boy played my, my, sorry, my little girl played with lorries does that mean she's trans exactly no, that, she that looks mean, like a girly like play with it lorries. just means she should be allowed to play with lor- lorries not that she needs surgical correction that's the diagnostic criteria this is an open air live experiment on autistic and gay kids with experimental drugs this is a scandal up there with all the hay and mid staffs and the lawsuits are coming and the medical negligence bar will give these ghouls no quarter I have to say, I mean, again, I'm, I'm so pleased that people are talking so openly about it and the government has Me actually too. taken the ball by the horns on this. But again, the, the celebration of this as, as a progressive thing, when, when, when actually it's countries like Iran, which, which where, where being gay was basically get you executed, imprisoned and, and beaten. Um, but, but they had the highest rate of trans surgery. Uh, because if, it's more if, acceptable to be trans than gay. If I lived in Iran, Julia, my choices would be go and have surgery and, and trans the gay away or be executed. Yeah, which would you choose? Bang. Indeed. Thank you very much for talking about it. Again, we did reach out so to Mermaids on. on the other side. Uh, they chose not to respond. That was their choice. Uh, but obviously always happy to put their perspective on, uh, on air uh, if they wish to do so.